Hello everyone. Suppose you have a data set where you need to work with numbers and text individually, then you know how important it is to separate numbers in Excel using formula. We can easily do this in Excel within one click. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to separate numbers using formula in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have list of version of Windows in our column B and our main target is to separate the numbers only in the column C. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to separate number of the text by using the combination of write len, min, and find functions. Go to the C5 cell and insert the write function, which will extract the rightmost value of the selected text. In this case, it is the B5 as text. To determine the length of the digit, we'll write down the length function, and next we'll again select the B5 as our text. And now, as we are trying to get the numbers only, so write down the combination of minimum and find function. So write down minimum, which will extract the minimum values. And next, we want to find the numbers only. So we'll write down the numbers from 0 to 9 in the curly bracket. After closing the curly bracket, now we'll move on to our within the text, which is again B5 cell and we'll ampersand operator and add the numbers within it. So write down again 0 to 9 in the double quotation. Now we'll go for the bracket and as we're trying to get the decimal number, so we'll add plus 1 with it and click on the enter button. So we'll get our perfect number in the C5 cell. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell. Then in every case, you have extracted the numbers after the text by using the combination of functions. In our new method, we want to separate numbers preceding text by using the combination of left, sum, len, and substitute function. To do that, we'll go to the C5 cell and insert the left function to extract the leftmost value of the selected text. We'll use B5 as our text and then we'll use the combination of sum and len function to select the whole B5 cell. So we'll insert at first the sum function and then we'll insert the len function and select B5 as our text. Now as we're trying to get only the numbers here, so we'll subtract the text with the help of len and substitute function. So write down the len and then we'll use the substitute function within it and as we're trying to get only the numbers so we'll select the b5 as text and we'll write down the old text which is in this case the numbers from 0 to 9 so write down 0 to 9 in this curly bracket now after that, we'll move on to our new text as we're trying to add a blank cell. So we'll write down nothing in our double quotation. And after that, we'll go and hit the enter button to extract our numbers. Now copy down the formula to use it to every cells. And that's how we can easily separate numbers preceding text. We can also separate decimal numbers by using the combination of write, len, min and find functions. We'll go to the C5 cell and insert the write function to extract the rightmost value of the B5 cell. So select B5 as our text and next we'll use the len function to set the length of the character of the B5 cell as our text and next we want to subtract the values by using the combination of find and minimum function. So write down min function to get the minimum value and as we're trying to get only the decimal numbers so write down find function to find it and in the find text we'll write down the numbers of 0 to 9 
So write down 0 to 9 in this section. After that, we'll move on to our within text, which is in this case B5 cell, and we'll use ampersand operator and add the numbers within it. So we'll again, write down the 0 to 9 numbers here. After that, we'll add plus 1 with it to get the perfect number within the text. So if you hit the enter button, then you'll get your decimal number in the C5 cell. Drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how we can easily separate decimal numbers in Excel. Now we'll use flash fill feature to separate numbers only. To do that, we'll go to the C5 cell and insert the first number of the B5 cell. After that, we'll again start write down the value in the C6 and then you'll see Excel is already suggesting the values. If you click on the enter button, then you'll get your perfect separated number in the C column. You can also do the same thing by another alternate. Like you can easily go to the C6 cell and again write down the number of the B6. After that, you can select both the C5 and C6 cell and drag down the formula to the very last cell. So you'll see at the right side, you have auto fill options. And if you click on the flash fill, then you'll get your perfect separate numbers in the C column. So that's flash fill feature for you. Now we'll use delimiter option to separate numbers. At first, we'll select the B5 to B13 cells and go to the data tab. Here, we'll select text to columns option in the data tools and after that you'll have convert text to columns dialog box in this section select delimited here and go to the next feature in the next page you can easily select space as your delimiter but you can use any of the delimiters as you have needed you'll go to the next page by using the next click and now in this section you'll select general as the column data format here you have the data preview where you can easily see that you have separated the cells correctly or not. After that, you'll go to the destination. Here, we'll get the destination in the C5 cell and click finish. So, you'll get the confirmation here. Click OK and now we'll get your perfect result in here. So, that's how you can use delimiter option to separate numbers in Excel. We can get the same result by using fixed with feature in Excel. To do that, we'll select the C5 to C14 cells and go to the data tab, select text to columns in data tools. And in this dialog box, you can easily select the fixed with feature and go to the next page by using the next option. Here you have the data preview. In the data preview section, you have to select the area where you want to separate the values. Now I want to get the code and number separately. So I'll write down here the line. Now you'll go to the next by clicking next option. And now you'll see that in the general section, you have the column data format and you can easily see the data preview here that we have separated the code and the number in this section. After that, you can easily select the destination where the result will be shown. In this case, it is the D5 cell and click the finish option. After that, you'll have the confirmation. Click OK to get the perfect result within it. Now, we'll use Power Query Editor to separate numbers. At first, we'll select B4 to B13 cells and go to the Data tab. In the Data tab, you can easily select the from range table or range option from the get and transfer data. After that, create table dialog box will open in your window. Check the region if selected is correctly or not. Then tick on the my table has headers and click OK. After that, you'll have power query editor in your window. And now you can easily go for the split column in the home section and select by digit to non-digit section. Now you'll get your perfect number separated here. If you click on the 
close and load to option then you'll get your result in the new data tab if you look correctly then in this case you'll see the new worksheet you have already separated your values and numbers so that's power query method for you now we'll apply vba code to solve our problem to do that we'll go to the developer tab and select the visual basic to open the visual basic editor here we'll select the insert option and create new module by using the module option here we have a new visual basic editor in this section as we have already our code in the notepad so I'll select the code copy paste by using ctrl c and ctrl v in the visual basic editor now let's talk about the function a bit here at first we have the function the function code starts by defining the name of the function split num and text which takes two string one is the num and other is text after that we have for loop which basically go through to iterate each character of the input value of the str and then the loop variable i starts from one and goes through the length of the string of the len function now you can easily see that there is also a if statement in this section which basically shows if it is ascendant then it will show the numerical value or not if it shows any kind of numerical value then it will be in the is numeric section otherwise it will show the value of the string section next we have else which will show the value of the text section by using the combination of mid section in the str variable after that we have ended the variable with the end of section and after the loop has finished the code checks the value of the op operator the op operator is true then it returns the number string otherwise it returns the text string now we'll end the code by using the end if and in function now we'll save the function by using the save or control s in the keyboard now we'll return to our worksheet now go to the c5 cell in this worksheet and write down your new function which is split num and text you'll see the excel is already suggesting it so select it from here and then we'll select the text b5 and as we're trying to get only the numbers so write down one so after that if you click on the enter button then you'll get your perfect numbers in the c5 cell drag down the formula to use it to every cell and get your perfect result for every cell so that's vb code for you In our new method, we want to use a formula to split numbers only. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the combination of mid column function. To do that, we'll insert the mid function to select the data range with the return value. So as text, we'll select the C5 value and to make it permanent, we'll use the F4 in the keyboard. After that, we'll use the column function to use the reference of the cell so in this section we'll use the reference and we have nothing in our first case after that we'll subtract the numbers in individual case so we'll subtract the column function again within it so write down column and in the next reference we'll select the d5 cell again so we'll select the d5 as our cell so write down the dollar sign here by using the shift 4 and write down the d5 as our cell and now we'll minus 1 with it to get the perfect string and now we'll write down the number of characters which is 1 as decimal numbers so after that if you click the enter button then you'll get your first result now drag down the formula to left to right side to split the values of the c5 cell now copy down the formula to use it to every cell and get the result for every cell from the within range. So that's splitting numbers for you. In our last method, we have national ID in the column C where the first digits are the ID number but every number of the last two digits are showing the birth year. So we want to split the ID number and birth year from it. To do that, we'll select the C5 to C13 cells 
and then we'll go to the data tab here we'll go to the text columns in the data tools and in this convert text to dialog box we'll select fix width and after that we'll go for the next option to go to the next page in the data preview section you know that last two digits are the birth year and you want to separate them so in the data preview you'll click the mouse here and go to the next option here you'll see that in the data preview the splitting cells are showing you will see that if they are correct or not after that you'll go for the column data format and select general as destination you want to select the cell where you want to get the result so select d5 as our result and click finish to get the confrontation in the confirmation section you'll click ok to get your perfect result so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelm.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this